In case you guys have been living under a rock, uh, we just came back from the Trash Taste Tour in America. Oh, it feels so good to be yeah. back here. It's, it's, feels it's good so back. good. Uh, too much America. Quite yeah. yeah. <laughs> quite <frankly. laughs> I'm, much. I, I am america out. Yeah. You know? yeah. I and wake up next to Sydney, I'm like, Why'd you have to be American City? God, God, <laughs> fucking damn it! I've had, I've had enough of this right now. So, so we did twenty three shows around yeah. the entire US. Forty one days on the road. Yeah, there was uh, yeah. a long time. We went to a lot of the most populated US states. Obviously, we didn't go to many of the, the ones like Nebraska, yeah, mm. Montana. Because mm. uh, sorry, guys, there's not much to do there. <laughs> yeah, not many people there. Yeah. Sorry, Midwest. Yeah, but we had a lot of people from uh, those uh, less populated states come to some of the shows, mm, yeah. which is cool. Mm -hmm. We had some people from uh, Canada like drive down to yeah. some of our like Northern shows as some well. Some people came up from Mexico and stuff like that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some people from Mexico yeah. drive up for like Texas. That was yeah. crazy. We had one person that we met that flew in from Hawaii, which is oh, like, yeah. holy shit. Fucking insane. Yeah. Um, that's crazy. I mean, yeah, we had, uh, so we had 23 shows. We started from, uh, we did one tester show in LA, then flew to Minneapolis and got on the tour bus, mm -hmm. yeah. which was so much cooler than I think any of us expected. Oh, it was so cool. I, I you know, I thought I was kind of like dreading the tour bus and you know, we got a mm. lot of questions about like- I was what scared, is, I yeah, was scared for the tour. Yeah, cause I I'm just like, expect. yeah, I'm gonna be leaving with this, with these guys and a bunch of strangers for like 40 days. I, I don't know how I feel about that, but it was actually like, Really, really nice and really, really comfortable and a lot of fun as well. Yeah. Um, because it kind of felt like after the road trip special, which is now out, thankfully, like I was I was dreading that it was gonna be 41 days of just that experience. And I was yeah, like, yeah. I'm gonna I'm literally gonna kill one of the boys if yeah. I'm stuck in this space. But like the tour bus actually gave you like quite a lot of space mm. and quite a lot of like time to do your own I shit. Think, I think I well. think it definitely helped that the majority of the traveling that happened on the bus was happening while we were asleep. Yeah, so it's it was like, like fast traveling. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like fast traveling in an RPG. It's, it's it's great because people were asking us, "Oh, how's how's the drive been? How's the roads been?" And we were like, literally, I, we we blink in one place and we wake up in another. Yeah, you know? yeah. The only roads I think we any of us saw were like the roads between, um, I think Colorado and uh, Vegas. Vegas, yeah. We, we saw, saw like, like the Grand Canyon. Yeah, and all we that saw like stuff. Utah mm. and all that stuff and um, uh, a lot of Nevada. That was the only part I think we were awake while we were traveling. Yeah. yeah. And even then it was like, what, an hour or two in the morning? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, you don't actually spend a lot of time on the bus as you think. So like the normal day would be, you know, you wake up, you've arrived at the new place. You pretty much immediately get off the bus. So mm. your bed is like a capsule hotel, yeah. mm. but stacked and there's 12 of you. Yeah. Um, and then you get off the bus, shower at the venue, go get lunch. Then maybe you wait around, then do sound check at three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to wait for like an hour or two. Then we do the Q and A before the show at yep. six. Yeah. And then we wait and then that finishes at seven. Wait one hour, eight. And then we finish the show around 10, 1030. We maybe have a celebration on the bus. Yeah. We're, we're drinking, talking until like two. And then we go to bed and the bus moves. Yeah. yeah and that's kind of, Every single day. That That's 41 that, days. That, was, that yeah. was basically our schedule. Uh, our life was just living on a bus or in a green room. And I like, I don't know about you guys. I, like a lot of people were like scared about, would I get good sleep on the bus? Mm, I yeah. got fucking fantastic sleep on I the got bus. Better sleep on the bus than I did in some hotels. Same it was, here, it was same a dice here. roll for me. Yeah. Some days I did, some days I didn't. Right. It was right. mainly like, cause I don't know about you guys, but I realized that sleeping on a moving vessel while I needed to pee, was kept waking me up. <laughs> I had to go pee like at least two, three times a night. And normally, really? I, don't, normally I don't ever have to pee when I'm sleeping. Really? Right. right. So this was like, oh my God, I'm getting so stressed That's out. That's how oh. old men feel. <laughs> I, I, I felt like I was I was rapidly aging. Yeah. Um, but some nights I would get amazing sleep because the bus kind of rocks you. Like, mm, yeah. like as the engine hum is so loud. And also yeah. there's AC in the sleeping like quarters yeah. Sleeping area. Yeah. There's a giant AC unit that is so loud. And you, ventilation system yeah. as well. Yeah, and then, you, so you cannot hear anything yeah. from anyone else's bunk. Um, so yeah, it was surprising. Like, cause, cause I remember the first time we got on this bus and we saw how close of a proximity all the beds were to each yeah. other. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't think there's gonna be any privacy. Like I'm gonna be yeah. able to hear everyone fucking no, snore. No, yeah. no, Nothing. It's yeah. literally like in, you know, when you fall asleep in really an airplane. Bad. It was, like, it was, it was like perfect that. because even though the AC and like the engine were really loud, they added that like the perfect white noise. Oh yeah, it was good, mm. it was good. Like if, you, if, if you've ever like slept with like a white noise, like filter or something mm. in the background, that's kind of what it felt like where you couldn't hear anyone snoring. You couldn't hear anyone like rustle around or anything mm. like that. You just heard a constant white noise that was constant throughout the night. And then yeah. I sleep great on moving vehicles. I don't mm. know about you guys, but yeah. when the bus, I slept better when the bus was in motion than when the bus was like, 
like still. You Although know. I must say our bus driver did get a little wacky crazy at some of the uh, locations. Like there were some turns where he did where I almost yeah, fell I out. Yeah, I really yeah. fell out. I, yeah. Yeah. I had to like hold on to being like, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. <laughs> and then obviously when you get the into the, the cities, cause you're stopping and starting so much cause mm, of traffic, yeah. cause the highways are just, you're going. Yeah. yeah. But the cities you're stopping and starting. So you're like, uh, you know, your, your body's sort of coming out of the sleep cycle anyway. Mm. And then you kind of like, yeah, yeah. Start yeah. stop like all the time. Around. So you yeah. kind of like wake up a lot earlier than mm. you want to a lot of the time. Yeah. Yeah, so like <laughs> to explain this bus, it was, it, it's, it, we call it a bus, it's more like a coach, you know what mm. I mean? Cause mm. when I say it's bus, giant. when I say bus, I think like double decker bus, no, it was like a like a single decker, like coach kind of thing. Mm. And then you go into the, you go into the coach and then the first thing you see is like this living room area so where cool. mm. you got like a bunch of, you got like sofas it's on either table. side, there's a table and a kitchen and stuff like that. Um, three TVs scattered all yeah, around. Yeah, three yeah. TVs scattered around, permanently playing fucking SpongeBob or some shit, <laughs> whatever was on a American TV. Um, and then you go into the next room and there are 12 bunk beds mm. and there are like three- Three stacks. Three layers, basically mm. three layers. So there's the bottom layer, there's the middle layer and there's a top layer. And according to like most people, you get the best sleep on the middle layer, right? Yeah. So me and Connor chose the middle layer. <laughs> Joey chose the top layer, yeah. <laughs> which kind of scared me because if you fall out of that bed, yeah. there's, that's, a a long big, drop. that's a big and, drop and you have down. to climb to get in there and yeah. climb yeah. up in the morning. Yeah. I mean, you know, I only chose the top bunk because I'm a child at heart. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. But no, like, you know, I, I I still got really good sleep on the top bunk. So yeah, it, it was good. fine, yeah. Yeah, and then there's one extra room in the back, which was meant to be for the talent room, mm. but that just that just turned into, let's just put all our shit into this one room. <laughs> yeah. And it was like unusable. Yeah. Shit I room. guess in yeah. like a normal tour, yeah, like the, the talent have their own like private quarters at the back. If there's like yeah. one talent, apparently some of the tour uh, buses have the, like a room that's like a bedroom as well. Oh, okay. They, like a bed <laughs> that yeah, falls yeah, out. Yeah. Right. right. I mean, that would be cool, but yeah. obviously the three of us, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, for the most part, like we didn't really utilize that room and it kind of be just became like a storage space just yeah. because like, yeah. I mean, you know, when when Aaron, uh, who helped organize this tour, shout out to Aaron, by the way, um, you know, was like, you know, by the end of this tour, these guys who you think are strangers right now, who are gonna be with you on this bus, they're gonna end up being like family. Yeah. And like, you know, I always thought when I heard that from like multiple people, uh, you know, who've done tours before, I just thought it was like, you know, just some kind of like, you know, ex not excuse type of thing, but you know, just like a thing that maybe not everyone can relate to yeah. type of thing, right? But like, I don't know, I don't know about you boys, but like by the end of the tour, it was like a family. Yeah. yeah. Like, and we got really close to the, the staff that we had and we were always just like hanging out with them in yeah. that front section. And so yeah. we were like, we don't have to use this back room. We, yeah. Let's just go hang out yeah, with we, everyone else. Yeah, we, because obviously you want to hang out there real. Yeah. So yeah. we're always hanging out with everyone. So, it's always a good time. So there's actually there was actually more people than I thought there were going to be living on the bus with us mm. like prior to the tour because mm. we only knew probably we were gonna have like some Geeks, uh, Geeks Plus staff members and some people from the tour company that uh, we worked with. Mm. And I was thinking, okay, there's gonna be like a manager, someone like stagehands. I like didn't take into account just how much staff is needed to run mm. a tour. Cause That's there's crazy, like the, yeah. there's like multiple merch people and there's like managers and everything like that. Um, and there's our staff as well on top of that. And you know, there's the technical people as well. Mm. There were like so many people on this tour bus with us. And I thought, fuck, this is, this is gonna be a lot for 41 days. But yeah. like, it was such a nice experience because luckily everyone was chill and we pretty much got along with everyone. Mm. Yeah. Um, and it was just, I don't know, you guys, you guys said it kind of felt like a holiday in some cases. Yeah, it did. I, 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 I definitely treat it as a holiday. Well, yeah, cause like we, I normally work way more than that. Mm. So only doing right. like a two hour show mm. and then having the rest of the day where I can't really do anything. Mm. It's yeah. kind of like, oh, Okay, I guess I get to relax. Yeah, because yeah. like, you know, there were some days where like we had to stop by kind of halfway between two places because uh, legally our bus driver could only drive a certain amount of hours per day. So yeah. there were some days where we would stop by in just like the middle of nowhere, get a day hotel yeah. and then just, yeah. you know, go and explore type of thing. And in my head, I'm like, okay, before the tour, I planned out these days of like on the days that we're at the hotel, yeah. we could get like our own room and I could like, you know, yeah. film some catch videos, up to work. catch up to work <laughs> and stuff like that. But then when it actually happened, and I was like, no, I think I'd rather just go out with everyone yeah. and like actually go see this part of the country that, mm. yeah. let's be real, probably not going to go back to. Yeah, we're going to go back to Mississippi. Like, when am I ever going to go back to Biloxi, Mississippi? Yeah. You know? So, fuck well, that. We had a great I'm time there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was a fucking actually awesome had a great time. fucking time there.